There's love in every bit of the mishmash. The Giselle Mishmash! Wow, Ziku, you have a lot of coins. You have a lot of money. Yeah, and Giselle, my coins have different colors. Yeah, I can see that. You have a lot of silver coins. And, oh, this coin is gold. And this coin here is silver and gold. Yeah, and Giselle, some of my coins are big, some of my coins are small, and some of my coins are medium size. I can see that. You have lots of small coins. Oh, and there are some medium coins and big coins. And these coins here are the biggest. And every single one of your coins have pictures on them, on both sides, in fact. You see, I can see that there are animals on your coins. And, oh, people's faces are on your coins. And let's see what else. Oh, there are boats on your coins. Oh, Giselle, I cannot wait to spend my money. Oh, Ziku, that reminds me. I have something for you. You too? Mm-hmm. Look at this. Ta-da! Jars? Yes, that's right. Oh, uh, Giselle, these jars are empty. Right, we see, Ziku. This jar here says spend. So, this jar is to hold money for you to spend. Oh, and this jar here is for you to save money. You see, it says save. Save? That's right. You can keep your money here. You can collect it in your save jar so that you can save up to buy something really special. Oh. Oh, Giselle, I would like to put my gold coin in my save jar. Oh, okay then, here we go. And I would like to uh, add my silver and gold coin to my save jar. All right, here we go. There's your silver and gold coin going into your save jar. Ooh, that's a lot of money. Yeah, Giselle, I'm going to save to buy a dinosaur at the dollar shop. <gasps> oh, that's a great idea, Ziku. Would you like me to put the rest of your money in your spend jar? Oh, yes, please. Okay, here we go. Oh, there are a lot of coins for you to spend. What would you like to spend your spend money on? What would you like to buy? Mm, oh, I know. What's that? I would like to go to the dollar shop and buy some stickers. Ooh, stickers. Yeah, so I can continue to decorate my new save and spend jars. Ah, oh, that is a great idea. <laughs> a package for me! Dizzy G! One! I am three stacks lucky. One, two, three. Three stacks up. Three stacks down. Three stacks of money. Money rains all around. Pyramid, pyramid, make my wish. Come true. I wish for a shape as special as you. 
Hello, I am Cleo, and this is my pyramid. Oh, isn't she a beauty? What's this? A shape! Oh, thank you, pyramid. Shukran. Do you recognize this shape? This shape has four corners. One, two, three, four. And this shape has four sides. One, two, three, four. And two of the sides are short. And they are the same size. They are parallel sides. And this shape has two long sides. And they are the same size. They are parallel sides. Do you recognize this shape? This shape is a rectangle. rectangle! And this rectangle makes me rich because this rectangle is money! It is five dollars! Oh, this rectangle makes me rich! Thank you, Pyramid! What's this? Another shape? Do you recognize this shape? This shape doesn't have any corners. This shape doesn't have any sides. This shape goes round and round. Do you recognize this shape? This shape is a circle! Oh. And this shape is also money. This shape is a coin. It is a quarter. It is worth 25 cents. And this shape makes me rich. Oh, thank you, Birman Shukran. Now, will I spend this money on milk? Will I spend this money on grapes? Will I spend this money on dates? Absolutely not! Because these are shapes. I will not spend them. I will keep them forever. And these shapes will make me rich. Thank you, Pyramid Shokhan. Let's get art smart by making a money flower. Now, to make your money flower, you need some money, some coins. Now, in different parts of the world, there are different kinds of coins. I live in Canada, so my coins are from Canada. They are Canadian coins. And you need a piece of paper and some crayons. So, you take your coins and you place them down on a flat surface. Now, if you take a look at your coins, you will always notice that there are pictures on both sides of the coins. So, I am going to place my favorite pictures facing up like this. On my coins, I have this loony, which is a dollar. So, there is a picture of a loon. A loon is a kind of bird. And then on this coin, it's called a toonie and it's worth $2. It has a polar bear. So I like that polar bear, so I'm gonna have it facing up. And my quarter, which is 25 cents, it has a picture of a caribou, which is this animal that has antlers. There we go. And this is my dime. It has a little sailboat on it. A dime is worth 10 cents, and the sailboat is called a schooner, and I'm gonna have it, place it right there. And 
a nickel. My nickel is worth five cents and it has a picture of a beaver on it, which is a cute little animal. So I'm having that facing upwards as well. So once you place your coins down on a flat surface, however you like really, maybe I'll mix it up a bit. <laughs> and then you place a piece of paper on top. You take a crayon and then you lightly color on top of the coins. You can feel them under your piece of paper. So you gotta feel around and once you feel one, kind of press around it. Hold it tight around the coin and then lightly color with your crayon. And it's kind of neat because then your image will appear. You'll see the little picture kind of poke through there. That one is my toonie, my polar bear. I could kind of see it. There we go. And I'll use red for this coin. Oh, taking a peek. It's my quarter, which has a caribou. My quarter's worth 25 cents. Look at the picture of the caribou. That one looks nice. There we go. You can see the antlers like that. Often there are pictures of people's faces on coins or buildings. Let's just see which one's this. Oh, take a peek. It's my loony, the loon. Oh, I used purple already. I'll switch that to orange. And let's see here. Uh, oh, I'm losing the coin. Oh, there it is. I think I moved it a bit. Oh, well. Oh, there it is. <laughs> this one is turning out funny. You have to really press down to feel where the coin is and then kind of hold tightly around it. There we go. This one turned out a bit funny. There's my loonly. Yeah, you can't see the loon, but I could kind of see the circle because every coin has the shape of a circle. Most coins do. Not all coins, I should say. And then I'm gonna choose this light blue for my dime, which is 10 cents. And it's the one with the schooner sailboat. Let's see, oh, looking lovely. Look at these coins, they look good. And then finally, which one is this? Oh, you know what? That was not my sailboat. That one is my beaver. I was thinking that doesn't look like the sailboat. Oh. I moved it again a bit. <laughs> it's like a it's like a double coin imprint. There we go. That's my nickel, which has a beaver on it, and it's worth five cents. And finally, I'll use yellow. Now here's my dime. There it is. Okay, I'm gonna hold tightly around it. There we go. And then color lightly. And my dime is worth 10 cents. And it is, it has the picture of the schooner sailboat. There we go, how did that turn out? Oh, it's a bit tricky. Ta-da! <laughs> Isn't that lovely? All these beautiful coins, they look so colorful. And now I'm going to remove the coins from underneath of my paper because I shall turn these beautiful coins into my money flower with a green crayon because this shall be my stem for my flower. And there we go. I just connect all of the flower coins to my stem like this. And I have my money flower. Oh, so pretty. <laughs> Grown-ups, if you like this video, please hit the like button, the subscribe button, and please tell a friend. Doing so helps me to grow my channel so I can create more educational kids videos for YouTube. I'll see you in more videos of the Giselle Mishmash.